Yeah. <laughs> I'm just replying to Ricardo. Yeah. Cold turkey going in veganism. Cold turkey going out veganism. Yeah, we got we got to talk about that later because I I so so you no meat no just what fish or just veggies? No, that that would be vegetarian if you were eating fish uh, vegan products at all. So Nothing. you would like tofu? No milk. Like that? No. Yeah, I I stayed away from the tofu, but there were like vegan products that I could go to, or I would just eat like carbs and stuff like that, like rice and things, brown rice, quinoa vegetables a lot of salads stuff like that i bet you were that was the most miserable time of your life no no it wasn't it was the, the only misery was the lack of of products right now you have a lot of variety and a lot of things there's even like some you know here and there fast food play like the slutty vegan isn't that like in georgia um md yeah, slutty vegan. Yeah, slutty vegan. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. There, there's like options around things that weren't around when I was doing it. That was like, what, ten years ago or more. So, so would you eat like an Impossible Burger or something? Let me yeah, tell you, I, I've eaten that. Yeah, and I and I, you, I ate stuff like that. Let me tell you, I went to Burger King one time and got a Whopper. This was about a year or so ago, and those bastards gave me an Impossible Burger instead of my regular Whopper, and. I, I was just like, man, you vegans could like y'all could kiss my behind. No, if, uh, some, some of them are good. Some, of, some of them are actually y'all. good. Yeah, I, when I, when I, 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 don't, I don't know about Burger King, but it, it's uh, it's some gourmet places that make yeah uh, uh, plant based burgers that, that are pretty good. Like you, like it's one place in Atlanta, Grindhouse Burgers. Like you can't tell the difference, like at all. But you know, to what Van Cat was talking about earlier in the chat about all the, the the terrible food that we eat you know that all that stuff that's posing as vegan is it's garbage is more is i was about to say it's, it's, pro, it's oh processed God. as hell pro, it's yeah processed. it's worse it's yeah like the beyond yeah. yeah beyond burger has all kinds of crap in it and it's like who is this really for so why because. would so why, why how could you present that to me a uh, a uh, uh, red-blooded like, meat eater and tell me that that's somehow healthier than me cracking open the steak every weekend. Well, right? that that wasn't the intention. That's for those people that are trying to wing themselves off, or that's not that's not like real real into it veganism, right? Where they'll eat salads and other things that are legit. Whereas a person trying to transition into veganism, they need something that's familiar. Like for instance, um, what's that? Uh, Morning Star. They make a lot of products. They have this uh, chicken patty. Tastes really good. You pick that up at Target and whatnot. It tastes really good. But I, one day I looked on, you know, I started looking at the ingredients. I started searching like what it is and what it, it was not the greatest thing. But it tasted really good, really good. Vegan cheese is trash. Oh my God, never eat that. <laughs> I've never did, tasted any vegan cheese that's good. It's just did horrible. you su did you substitute a lot of like mushrooms and stuff like mushroom cauliflower? Yeah, I, I like mushrooms. So yeah, things that mushrooms. were mushroom cauliflower mushroom stuff that was good. Some it's a big hit and miss, but they're just trying to replicate things close to what you were used to. That's I mean, we're talking about real. If you're a real, real deal veganism in into that, you're like looking forward to a salad and you know, other things that you can eat that's not. You're not trying to replicate anything. You just you just are, you know, and there's just di different levels to it. But it's problematic when they, you know, but this is America. This is capitalism, the free market, where we just do more marketing than what reality is. So you see the word vegan on there, instantly you think it's healthy. And I, like I said, Oreo cookies are vegan. And they have that cream in the middle. So you would think, well, that has to have some milk in it. No, it doesn't. So it's highly processed foods. That's not good for you. But sometimes it tastes good. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the product. It depends on the company. But it's a whole game to that. So MD, we know who your buddy, who your buddies with. He, he's never convinced you to try any vegan food. Man, you can't, you can't convince me of that. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot convince like, but like I said, I I have had vegan options and 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 a lot of them have been good. Like it's this thing called a uh, kale bone. Kale bone, it's like it's 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 plant based rib basically. You know what I mean? Boneless rib, and 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 it's great. Like I ain't gonna sit here in front. Like you cannot tell the difference. 
I'm gonna need you. But but what I what I but like I said, I don't eat pork. So you know, why, I mean why, that why not? It's just something I chose not to do a long time ago. Oh, but it wasn't it wasn't nothing when what when, when normally when I ask a person why they don't eat pork, nine out of ten is religious purposes. Nah, I, I just stopped. Like, you know. And, and you know, I, I guess I guess I got scared straight on looking at a lot of different stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, when yeah. you when when you watch like how meat is made, the process of what is being done with chickens, poor um, pigs, turkeys, uh, I mean the, the freaking uh, calf comes out of the cow and immediately they're uh, artificially inseminating to get them pregnant again, and the, the the slaughterhouses when you see the real footage of that, so that's a that's a smaller part. I did it mainly for health. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, it was it was it wasn't far as like humane. Like hell, you give me the gun, I'll shoot the cow in the head myself. If I need to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ever seen so, you ever seen like the conveyor belt with like because you know we eat chicken, but they don't they don't use the male chicken. They use only female the chicken breasts and stuff like that. So whenever there's a a male chicken, they all just go on a conveyor belt and they go straight up this big um, crushing thing and they just kill them right there. Just you just see them just get grinded up right there. It's just what well, crazy to see that. Well, the reason we eat female chicken is because they they respond better to the hormone that that the farmers give them. You know what I'm saying? Which it's all about, it's all right about there. the biggest chicken. Well, you know, it is like I said, meat. It's, you know, I that that's a whole different topic. I ain't gonna get into it. But but <laughs> the main the main thing is to me, I don't care how vegan you are, what you do, you can't convince me that nutrient wise you get. The sufficient amount that you need, unless you grazing in the damn pasture all day like a cow, and I don't think you're doing that. But you know MD, MD, when you first met me, that's what that's what me and Blackson used to always argue about because I was trying to tell him that just because he's a vegan doesn't mean he's healthier than me because we're both the exact same size. Like, so right. how how could you look at me that eats steak and chicken and fish and all that stuff? And is really happy versus a guy that's my exact same size that all he does is eat grass. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, there, there yeah. is. I mean, uh, the vegetarian diet. There is a way that's better with the vegetarian diet. You, you can't, you can't be healthy like that without some sort of uh, vegetation or some sort of vegetable in your diet. That's why it's called um, diet. Well, man. well, well. Who, who's eating meat all day long? Ain't nobody exactly. doing that. I can just walk around with a bag I, I of meat. You, you, you can go on YouTube right now and you can see who's eating meat all the time. There's it's a lot of people that eat meat like all the time. That's why they came up with like meatless Mondays. Kind of like break it up, you know, a what? little bit. <laughs> yeah, meatless Mondays. You should do that all the time. Wow. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I get some people do like uh, the red meat diet. But that's I mean, for like think, bodybuilders. Think, think, think and about like, that. like people. But every time they sit down and eat something, there's always a meat-based product with it, right? Meat is a dessert, a snack, dinner, lunch, and breakfast. There's always and, meat attached to everything. Well, yeah, and, I, I get, I get that, I get that. You, you ain't gonna get an argument from that. Yeah, and look at and we're not made. We're not really made for that. We're not really made. We the, the the body was not intended to be this way. It didn't know that you could just go down the street and get to a supermarket or or go through a drive through, and have the accessibility and the and, and the frequency of that stuff in you. There is a there is a a real legit case of eating a vegetarian diet is better for you, way better. Vegetarian. Especially like if you're trying to avoid chronic diseases and cancers and stuff, you're good. Vancat, you would have to show me. You'd have to show me a study, and I'm not talking about it just a ten people. You'd have to show me a sustained they already study. Did that. Huh? Yeah. They already did no, those I'm kinds of studies. I'm telling you, you would have to show me a sustained study where mm-hmm. pure vegetarians, and I'm not talking about this crap that you buy in the grocery store. Pure yeah. vegetarians versus a balanced meat and veggie diet that that vegetarian is going to live. Okay, he lives okay. to he lives to 100 and I lived to 99. So what? Okay, so so you so, know in Asia, so in Asia, right? In Japan, in China, they tend to not be as big as Americans, right? When you look at the I ain't talking about Chinese food of Americanized food. 
some of the food that they eat over there. Yeah, it's, it's usually veggies, veggies, it's usually rice, based and from and veggies, like and then the meat is just really a garnish or a complement to the vegetables. And they have a way longer lifespan. The population in Japan is old, the older people outnumber the younger people in Japan for many reasons, but they live long. They live long with with less health issues. They're generally when you see an Asian person, they're not a fat person. They're not an out of shape person. They're not a sickly person. You know, here we 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 move furniture around around here, man. So, but, but Ben Cat, I would I would attribute that to to America because if you look around other cultures in the world that do eat meat, but you don't see their people like overweight like here. They're over okay here. Here everybody drives, so you don't have to walk anywhere. You have all this stuff readily available to you. We just talked about this earlier, and everything that we have readily available is cheap. You just sent us something today where for the next four days you can get a double cheeseburger for one cent. Yeah. So can you so can you imagine how many men and women are gonna be like, oh shit, I'm short on my rent this month, but man, I do want to eat. So let me go grab all the double cheeseburgers that I want to feed my family. Whereas yeah. in, whereas in other cultures, you grow your own food. And everybody, yep. everybody shared, right. hey, I need some yams, I need some banana, I need some of this. You know, everybody kind of shares this stuff versus here is just let, let's run the McDonald's or let's run the KFC. Let's run me. I'm not gonna lie, as healthy as I try to be, every week I gotta get some Popeye's chicken. I just have to. It is what it is. <laughs> but but all meat is not the same, same level of quality. And I ain't talking about like quality like, oh, the restaurants that charge a hundred dollars for a steak. And I ain't talking about that because even that may not be grass fed, grass finished meat. Um, you know, the the salmon that's farmed is trash versus the salmon that's wild caught. Um, you know, tilapia, they just have that as farm pretty much. You really don't have wild caught tilapia. And all they're doing is putting them in these um areas where they're just cramped in each other. It's like a pool, and they're just pooping, and they're eating each other's yeah, poop. Have, and... you, have you seen them feed them? They just throw them in and, like, see, like, yeah. hundreds of thousands of fish just pop up? Right. There's a different <laughs> level to healthier food options. So you can eat steaks and meats and whatnot, but you got to – even, like, bacon. Like, regular bacon has nitrates and all this other crap in it. So if you buy the better um, bacon, like, Applegate is one, one company that makes – no, no nitrates. Uh, you go to Whole Foods, you go to Trader Joe's, they have no nitrates um, bacon. And you can eat bacon, and it's not as bad as traditional butter. Butter is something that we've been correlating f from since the 80s that causes heart disease and all this stuff. But butter is actually that's pretty not, good. Yeah, that, yeah, that's not true. Yeah, it got a lot exactly. of Exactly. Butter is pretty good. If you but buy the right, if you buy the right Exactly. Like so, Kerry Gold or something like that. Exactly. Because they're out there where they don't have the same rules as America does. Where America, free open market. So they, they could put any chemical, they could do anything to the product. Whereas they have different rules and restrictions over where they're at. But so, Cat, you know you you just killed yourself, Cat. You just killed oh, all all, oh. all the all these products, all these products you named. Kerry Gold, yeah. Applegate Farm. I love Applegate Farms turkey bacon. But guess what? I look in, in that in that bacon section, I look at Applegate Farms price versus hell, I don't know, butterball. And I'm like, ah, you know, do I got enough to get this Applegate Farm bacon? And that when it comes to productivity or or the, the means of production. Versus what we doing, the right. less that you, the less that the less cost in means production means the less cost in price. Obviously, people gonna pick the less cost in price, especially but, the way we live in now. Now, if you can afford to get the carry gold butter and and the, and the Applegate, cool. But everybody can't afford that. No, I, I get know. I get that, and that's a very valid thing to say. However, what I would say is, you ever notice how when you're eating trash. When you're eating the regular everyday American diet, you always feel hungry. You're hungry because your body 
is asking for something. It's asking for minerals, vitamins, and whatnot that you're not getting in the trash that you eat. How many times do you look at the plate that you got and it's brown? The chicken is brown, the rice, the, it's either brown or white. There's no green, there's no color to it. When you eat that type of trash, you do not have the nutrients your body requires. So then moments, maybe about an hour or so later, you're hungry again and you want to eat more and you want to eat more. But when you eat, and this is what I learned when I was vegan, when you, when you eat greens and you eat things that are higher in nutrients, you are usually never really hungry. When you eat, yeah, I, I could eat something, but you're never like, oh my God, I'm starving, I'm hungry. Well, I fast, and I could fast, I could fast for three days, five days, eight, ten days straight, and not be hungry, because before I went in my fast, I was eating salads and whatnot, and I'm used to fasting now, so it's like it's very controlled, but. Your your hunger is is by is coming by design from the trash that we put in the body. It doesn't have what it needs. So you may have something in your stomach and may give you the illusion that you're full and you're you're whatever, but you're gonna get hungry again and you're gonna be starving because your body is lacking those nutrients. When you eat greens, you don't have to worry about that. So and, that and- will bring down the cost of your food shopping. You wouldn't need as much stuff. Get the quality stuff, the real quality, not the posed things that are stickers on the front saying this is the new healthy, low this, low that, and all this other trash and this garbage. Actually find out what is the right stuff and then buy those things. Buy less trash. Focus your money on the better things that are, what, $3 more or $4 more. Take that hit because you're going to take a greater hit popping that pharmaceutical prescription (laughs) And dealing with a chronic illness. And that's what what that's a disconnect with people because people we live in a society that needs instantaneous gratification. We need things now, we need that good feeling now. We we don't work towards anything. But I'm trying to tell you, you eat greens, you you won't be hungry. You'll you'll understand your body better and fast a little bit, and you'll see it's not really that outrageous. So to your point about Chinese food, um, I, I I talk to Chinese people all the time and they tell me like this crap that you get over here is not they you know, they they take they take you out if you were in China trying to pass that off as Chinese food. That's that's what they give to us. And again, it's just like America is like the big garbage can when it comes to, to food. I mean, the obesity levels in this country is is ridiculous. Look at our children. Um, most of them are, you know, oversized you know so so but again i attribute it to you did you see the video i sent you on instagram earlier yeah yeah i, I yeah, saw so that yeah I, that was a I, good video i attribute it to that where people not making people what the money that if you made eighty thousand dollars in 2015 them eighty thousand dollars went a whole hell of a lot further than those eighty thousand dollars are going now um so but not only the eighty thousand, but you also got the money that the CEO stole from you that they didn't pay you <laughs> pay you what you were deserved to begin with. So that those bastards have been hoarding people money forever. I see the eyes rolling, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm saying is though, people people are having to make hard decisions between you know, is it's hard to like we eat we eat relatively healthy in this house just because I consume a lot of food and I want to make sure that what I'm eating is, is good stuff. So yeah. our, our grocery bills are, are high because we, you know, we, we don't get a lot of packaged stuff. You know, you don't, you don't see a bunch of prepackaged stuff. I mean, and we get our water in the five gallon jugs. Like we go through water. Like it's, it's no, like it's like it's going out of style. So we try to eat relatively right. healthy, but um just me the whole vegan thing just to put a big bow on it i think you would have to show me where and i and i'm talking about that vegans live substantially longer i'm not talking about a year because if i die at 99 versus 100 i think i'm gonna be more mad that i couldn't make it to 100 not necessarily that 
you know, it had anything to do with the food. But, you know, we're talking about one or two years. If, 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 if a vegan lives longer than a meat eater by like two years, but they both live relatively happy lives, um, free of you illness. can't live you can't live a happy life free, like that though. Free of illness, then the rest of the issue. Well, remember you remember the heart the heart issue that's been going on. The, that is that is by design from the unhealthy lifestyles that we're living, and it's all traced to food. A person that is traced eating like, vegetables, it's traced the trans fat, Van Cat. No, it's not. The, uh, it's, it's, it's not traced to if a guy eats 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 um chicken you know like it, it's not and i'm not talking about popeyes i'm talking about baked chicken and and you know stuff like that cook all food is not chicken. the same trevor it's not but the that, same level exactly that's what i'm trying to tell you so no you're, I'm, you're saying you're, chicken you're basing, that, that's, you're basing that's, a diet off of you're basing it like everybody just eats like yeah chicken. yeah the food the food itself you're not yeah. basing off the way the food yeah. is, is, is working you're basing yeah. it off of like everybody just eats like shit so the vegans gonna automatically live longer i'm telling you that's bull crap no my, no no no, no no listen listen, a... listen my grandmother just died at 104 years old because right. she lives because she lives in the mountains in jamaica where she catches her own goats and all that exactly type of stuff. That's exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I'm telling you. She's not living no vegan lifestyle. It's no. America, the life expectancy in America is much lower than anywhere in the world because of what we're consuming. That's, she what, lived, I'm to, that's what I'm trying she to tell lived, you. She lived longer because in America, the soil is depleted of nutrients. Um, the chickens, the meats, and all this other stuff that we have... They're injected with antibiotics and hormones and all that other stuff. Over a period of time, from generation to generation, it is uh, starting to affect. You could basically trace it for the 80s up to now. The obesity rate rising. It's rising Ricardo, fast. Ricardo, I, I just want you to take note of exactly what I said at the beginning of the show. Me and Venkat are literally saying the same thing, but just uh -huh. because it's me... He's oh, going to Lord. try to argue about it. Just oh, remember that I Lord. told you that. Oh, Lord. Go ahead. Finish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying there's different there's different levels to, to like, for instance, okay. So, um, you know, when you when you see like chicken, right, it depends on how the chicken ha was handled before slaughter, right? So uh, usually corporations have a bunch of chickens they're all cooped and crammed and whatnot you ever know you ever seen like when you look at a pack of chicken and you see like the drumstick bone is broken have you seen that before or you seen like i may, I may have seen i may have seen it before right well it didn't break in the package like it, like doing transit that's the the they've been chucking that chicken full of all, everything because everything has to be weighed and everything is paid by having it bigger they want bigger chicken breasts they want bigger pieces of meat and steak and whatnot so they're giving chickens corn which that's not what chickens eat but it's used to fatten them up Ch chickens are supposed to be eating little insects and stuff like that so they're putting them on on a highly inf inflammatory diet so they have um, all these issues there. They're sticking them with antibiotics because all of them are cooped up in this one little dark area. And, of course, the chicken is scared. When you're scared, even as a chicken, even as a human being, you have um, cortisone that is released. MD, That's a home. Shit, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's released. When you have a lot of abundance of cortisone, that does something to the final product of the, of the chicken. Now, for other places that have more free range, free roam and open areas for the chicken to live, they're not as scared. They're not as cooped up. They don't have such a bad life. So once they're slaughtered, they don't have all those issues that those other chickens. So you can look at two different chickens in a package and one is nine ninety seven and one is uh, 18 bucks. But there could be a reason for the difference, and that may be one of them. That's why I say all all meats or chicken or whatnot. It depends on the the way it was it was raised and whatnot. The way it was it was 
process as well. So, what yeah, Vank, what Vank, what Vank had is what Vank had is describing is is, is a utopic mindset. Oh, Lord. And, 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 and and what and what he doesn't understand is <sighs> the the way the way he views certain uh, 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 social orders within how we're supposed to live. You would have even more of a deprivation of these uh, particular um, practices when it comes to farming and stuff because the uh, 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 let you tell it, Van Cat. Yes, sir. The government should be providing all this stuff anyway. So, what do you think is going to happen if I we allow they, the go? Go ahead. I, I think they should end those subsidies on bad foods like sugar and corn, and I think we should put subsidies on foods that really have real true value. I understand why, why the farmers years ago, decades ago, decided to do this, to make the food cheaper, faster to process. And, you know, because we have more people in the world and we, we need to cover more people, but that comes at a cost. Like, first thing, you, you think that, you know, it's just a steak, it's just a steak. And it, for the cows to... To, to be raised, they have to take up a certain space of land. They got to take up a certain amount of water. And we have right now shortages in water in certain areas of the world, in, in Mexico as well. Um, there's, shortage, there's a shortage of water. So there's a lot of resources that have to go into it. And then we're going to turn around and do it the cheapest, crappiest way possible. And then the end result may not be to what you're liking. So all these early deaths that we're seeing, most of it is food related. A lot of these chronic illnesses come from the way we do things in food. And with the government that we have, they have passed laws. They have lobbies that have been able to do certain things for special interests that are only for the corporations and not for the regular public because hey you know it's you just people as we saw yesterday with that cop it was just a regular person they don't really care they don't really care they just want to just go ahead and make their profits at whatever expense they're rich so they can get access to health care and better food we don't we just got whatever we got in new york there's food deserts all over the goddamn place that's why people go always going to bodegas and crap what is a bodega <laughs> fritos Corn chips, garbage. It's always trash. That's what I'm saying. It's like all this stuff comes at an expense, whether you want to recognize it or not. It all comes at an expense. One of the things we got to do is got to make government change the way things are. Because why the hell is there sugar? Go. There it goes. I'm right just there. saying. Why yeah, they, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm just saying it's all tied into that, man. And, and by the way, um, if, if if we're giving subsidies to gas, uh, gas, oil, <laughs> oil and gas companies, why the hell are they able to just jack up the price anytime they feel like it? I, that don't make no sense. I think those subsidies should have an attachment of certain rules and regulations. But whatever. Back here, let, hey, let, let me let me, and I'm done after this. <laughs> I, I live I live around Mexicans, right? Yeah. A lot a lot of these Mexicans in my neighborhood. They have stuff in the backyard like chicken. Oh, they can do stuff like that. stopping you from going to go get you a cow, going to go get you a chicken, uh, uh, planting you some greens <laughs> in the back, and and eating that. Nothing stopping. But until then, uh, I'm gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. There you go. You know, you know, MD, that everybody don't live in an environment where they can do that, right? They don't have a backyard because they're up on the third, fourth, fifth floor, or you know, they just don't have. Van Cat, these the chickens, really these do. chickens, are walking up and down the street. Van Cat, they're not in the backyard. They just, they just out. I'm just saying, if I, if I, if I, I just, say, get your damn, get your damn chicken out the street. <laughs> if, if I just decide, hey, I'm just have some chickens out here. My landlord is gonna be. Obviously, every morning they're a little morning, bit more gangster. A bunch of chickens just walking up and down the street, man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, what a hell of a sidebar! <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, hey, I, 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 you know what? That took up the time for the sidebar that I did want to do, but this was just a fantastic, all the same, and all this chicken talk.
<laughs> makes me want to ease and jerk. Promotional consideration paid for by the following.